Hey everybody, Chris here from Tangle Tackle. Hey, getting back on that second video for you guys about the meat rig. Sorry it took so long. We were working on some uh, some graphics and stuff for the uh, for our channel. We're trying to get something together so uh, our videos are a little more uh, a little more appealing, I guess, if you want to say it that way. But we haven't got it done yet, so decided to go ahead and get this done now. Get it out to you guys. I know uh, some of you guys have been emailing me and waiting on this, so hey, I'm sorry it's coming out now. We'll get that done. Um, uh, we'll go over the, I know we've already gone over the, the main rig for the meat rig. And yeah, let me find it. Yeah. I got it all tangled up, of course. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, figures. So I want to do this, it's tangled up. I should have done this beforehand. Hey, it's the way it goes. So. We've already gone over the main section of the meat rig. If you haven't, uh, if you haven't watched that yet, go back and check out our channel. Check that out. We'll go over how to make this thing. This is a three teaser uh, meat rig, the main body, the teaser section. And we made this up with uh, the Mirage and the purple, both in the flat. It's always a good colors. One that always catches fish for us. And we go over the length and how to make the teasers. If, if you don't know how to make the teasers yet, or trolling flies in general. Check out our channel for that. We go over that in great detail in another video. So, uh, yeah, go back, check that out, and we'll be able to help you out. And also some little, so little tricks that we do on this meat rig, how you can customize it. That's on that previous video as well. So, with that being said, we'll jump into the into the meat rig section itself. But first, I gotta I gotta let a little let a little cat out of the bag for you guys. Hey, we got something coming up um, through our sponsor, something that we're real happy about. Uh, a little way for us to say thanks and give back to you guys, and the sponsors want to do that also. So I don't want to let everything out of the bag, but keep an eye on our channel. If you haven't subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because we're going to be putting some stuff out. Anybody know what these are? Costa sunglasses. We got Costa sunglasses to give away, more than one pair. We've got Dreamweaver, custom Dreamweaver packs put together by the people at Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver themselves to give away. We've got complete fly tying kits from Purple Taco, and I mean colors, beads, bullet heads, you name it, magic thread, everything to tie a dozen or two dozen flies. And I'm not talking just, just one of these giveaways. We're going to do several of these over the month or over the summer months. So we're gonna give away multiple pairs of glasses, multiple kits from Dreamweaver. And I mean multiple, there's all sorts of stuff in this thing from Dreamweaver. That's one kit, that's one, one person's gonna win glasses, one person's gonna win this, uh, the Dreamweaver, one person's gonna win the Purple Taco stuff, one person's gonna walk away with all that stuff, but it's gonna be done multiple times, uh, if that makes sense over the summer months. So one person, I don't know if I'm making sense on that. I'm trying to. It's going to be multiple giveaways with multiple things included in each giveaway. So keep an eye on our channel for that. We want to give you guys some stuff. Costa, Dreamweaver, Purple Taco. These guys are great. Hey, support them. They want you guys to have this stuff also. So uh, keep an eye on our channel. Like I, I think I already said that. I'm being redundant now. Hey, one other thing I want to throw out real quick. There, there's a guy on YouTube I've been watching. You know, it's winter here in Michigan. It's cold. Um, there's only so much I can go out and do and all of us can go out and do a snowmobile, ice fish. So I spent a lot of time, you know, whatever on YouTube, looking around on YouTube. There's a guy on YouTube called Buckin' Billy Ray, who's got one of the best channels I've found in a while. If you guys like outdoor stuff, um, woodwork, uh, he, the guy does everything. He, tree cutting, tree work, climbing. <laughs> Chainsaw stuff. He's up in Canada. Uh, I think he's up on Vancouver Island. The guy is entertaining as all get out on YouTube. If you haven't checked him out, check out his channel. I don't know anything about the guy. I'm not affiliated with him at all. But I wanted to throw him a shout out there um, just because it's worth it. He's given me plenty of hours of entertainment watching his channel. So it's Bucking Billy Ray on YouTube. And I think he's got a website, BuckingBillyRay.com as well. He, he makes custom axes and they're, they're really nice. So hey, check him out. Anyway enough stuff out of the meats meat rigs meat meat rigs yeah meats i'm uh, sorry did, did i say we just have costa sunglasses to give away you guys want some hats 
on all sorts of hats. So you want some sunglass holders. We've got sunglass holders to give away all hats, you name it. Anyway, sorry, on the meat racer. Okay, let's jump into this. I got my obligatory uh, paper towel down there just to give you guys a little contrast so you can see a little bit better. Same paper towel I've been using in every video I've made so far. Uh, who cares? Anyway, uh, first type of meat head. So now we're just making the meat head, um, the part that attaches to obviously the teaser section. So, first one we're going to go over is probably the one of the, meat, the most standard ways that people do it on the Great Lakes. Well, let's answer this question first. Meatheads, right there. Where do we get them? Dreamweaver. Dreamweaver. Dreamweaverlures.com. Go on there. Check it out. They got a great selection of meatheads on there. This is a black dot four pack. They got all sorts of different kinds on there. So question answered there. Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver Lures or TeamDreamweaver.com is going to get you to the same place. I really like the Dreamweaver heads. They're sturdy. Um, they got a little flex in them. So if you want to get a little more spin or a little less spin out of your meatheads, you can do that. But really right out of the package, they're, they're pretty spot on. So what do I got tied on here? I got regular old 50 pound mono. It's not fluorocarbon. You don't, need, you don't need to use fluorocarbon. You can if you want to. If you want to spend that kind of money, hey, have at it. I've tied on. Uh, this is a VMC Spark Point 4X treble. And this is a number one. And I've tied that on using a, this is just your regular old Snell. You can tie it on there if you want to use a clinch or a trilene knot or whatever you want to use, that's fine. Anyway. So, line onto the treble. Dang, that thing is sharp. I got myself up through the meat head and out the top. And that will go to your swivel. And we'll cover that more here in a section or in, in a moment. But anyway, most common way to hook up a meat head meat strip goes into the head, toothpick. And Dream, Dreamweaver meat heads do come with toothpicks. Toothpick will go into that back section. There's a little hole there where the line runs through. <laughs> And I always like to leave, well, let me do that again because I like to leave that a little longer than I need. So once I seat that toothpick, <clears throat> excuse me, once I pull that line a little tighter, it'll seat that toothpick down in there a little bit more. Once you got that, without cutting the line, because I've done it, snip off that toothpick and you got your length. Obviously your, your meat strip's going to be right inside here. It's going to run back about to there. And you like that that meat, uh, or I'm sorry, that uh, that treble hook to be running right at the tail. And as this thing goes in the water, obviously that toothpick's going to swell from the water. And it's going to hold that in there pretty good. Not my favorite style. Um, I've I've taken these out of the water before, and that that thing's all the way up there like that. It slips through. So for that reason, right there, it's not my favorite style. But it does give you some customizing factors uh, on length. So anyway, that's one way. <clears throat> Second way is the way that uh, Dreamweaver does it, and I like this way. So what we got is a piece of surgical tubing, and you can get this through. You can get this through PurpleTacoFlySupply.com. So line onto the treble, up just like we normally or what we just did before, through the meat head onto a swivel. With this surgical tubing, it's now going to hold that at about two and a half inches, which is about the length of the meat strip coming out of that meat head back to the back to the treble. So that keeps obviously it's not going to go anywhere. Pros, it's not going anywhere. Cons, you lose your customization, but really good, effective way to do it. Probably one of my favorite ways right here. So from tip of head to swivel, twelve inches. 12 inches. That's the way we run them. That's the way I think most of the Dreamweaver rigs come out of their come out of their shop. So 12 inches. So that is it. That is a Dreamweaver ball bearing swivel tied on there. Uh, I forget what size that is. It might be. I think it's the number six, um, but I'm not sure. They're on their website as well. I think I said this before. Save your money. These swivels here from Dreamweaver are just as good as anything I've ever used on the water, and they're. A heck of a lot cheaper. Save some money. Use it on other things like beverages for the boat or whatnot. Um, th these will these will do you just fine. Okay. So that's second way. 
another way. Let's go back to that first head here. And I see, I've seen a lot of guys do it this way. This is not one of my favorite ways either, but I'm going to show it to you because it's a way to do it. So, rubber band, and I've got an extra large rubber band to start. Obviously, use a smaller one. A lot of guys use this way because it, it gives that customization again. All you're doing is you're going to put a half hitch into this rubber band. Cinch it down tight without sticking that treble hook into my fingers. Cinch that thing down tight. Snip off the rubber band without cutting your line. And now bring that line in to whatever length you want. So that's going to hold it pretty good. Even the smaller rubber bands will hold it pretty well. The problem I've had with this is the same way with um, meathead number one. There's been times when I've brought it out of the water and that thing is up there all the way like that. And the fish goes and snaps at the tail end of that, uh, that meat strip and it's missing your hook. So it's not doing you any good. Again, pros, customization, cons, it's not fixed. And I think fixed is much more, much more suited for, for your type of fish or my type of fishing, your type of fishing, and whatnot. So that's it. That's a way number three, the rubber band method. Not bad. It works. If you got nothing else, hey, throw it out there. Method four, and this is one we've been using quite a bit lately on our boat, and I like it. Meathead. Mono up through, and I have this tied into a tournament style rig, and there, we have a video on our channel if you haven't watched that, tying or how to how to tie. And my mouth is all gubbly tonight. I think it's because I'm cold down here in my basement. Anyway, tournament style rig uh, with two beads. You can do it with three beads as well. But uh, that's the way we've been doing it on our boat quite a bit, and I really like this. When the fish get on there, they don't come off. Uh, so this is again a VMC Spark Point. 4x hook and that is a gamakatsu number five octopus on the lead check out the other video on how to tie that it's pretty easy once you do it a few times it's no problem and like i said if you if you get that fish on that octopus hook you can drag him around all day long they don't come off it's pretty impressive what so pros on this it's fixed you know a little bit extra a little bit extra hooking power Cons, yeah, you know, not a whole lot of customization, but you know, there are some nice facets to this with the, the extra color and whatnot. It's always nice to, to mix up your colors with what's on your teaser rig. And then the last one, excuse me, my nose is running. I apologize. I'm sniffing in the camera. I'm sure I'll get a comment in there about sniffing in the camera. So, last one, and this is the way we just came up with this last year and tried it out, and I really liked it. We had some good success with this. We got Dreamweaver Meathead strung up the same way, but then on the tail, on our VMC Spark Point hook, we've got a peanut fly tied on there. And I've done this up using the Purple Taco Fly Supply um, material. And I'll just let you know, we'll do a video on this on how to tie a peanut fly here. Ah, God, I can't say when. Pro uh, hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. But I'd say within the next few weeks, maybe a month, within a month. So anyway, peanut fly tied on there, and then I've got beads on there on top of that. And I'm just matching up, you know, we, we had the uh, Mirage Purple teaser rig, so why not match that up? I've got uh, I've got a frost with purple beads, and then I've got a Two-Face Dreamweaver head on there. And again, 12 inches from tip of meat head to Dreamweaver swivel. And I had a buddy ask me, Actually, a guy that, that makes meat heads for for a living, or not living, but he has a company. He's like, yeah, I like that. You know, concerns are, you know, what about the weight? Is it going to rotate correctly through the water? So we tested this out quite a bit last year, and we had some really good success with it. And I don't think the weight affected it one bit. It still rotated really nice through the water, and we caught a lot of a lot of fish on this rig. So, again, you know, pros, you know, it's fixed, extra flash. A little extra something at the tail it might grab that fish's attention. Cons? Eh, I don't know yet. Working on it. I'm sure there's some. You know, lose lose some customization. We've talked about that already, but hey, I, I really like this. Well, anyway, the cat's out of the bag on that one. I've never seen another boat 
I've seen another boat fish, sorry, sniffing again. I've seen another boat fish beads like that, one other boat ever, but I've never seen another boat fish a peanut fly on the tail end. So now, if I see you guys out there doing it, hey, I know you watched the video. Or whatever, you <laughs> came up with it. So that's it on the, the five different styles. Toothpick, rubber band, uh, the surgical tubing, tournament style fly, or tournament style tie, and then the uh, the beads. You know, you could do it without a peanut fly on there too. You could just do it with the beads. So I guess six styles. So stand by, be right back, a little more information. So that's it. Hey, it, it, it's not rocket science. I've said that before, it's pretty easy. Salmon aren't hard to catch. They're hard to find sometimes, but they're not real hard to catch. You give them something they want, and they're gonna probably bite it. So this will put you on the right path for meat rigs. What we got coming up on our channel? We've got uh, the peanut fly video that we're gonna make up. We've got another Dreamweaver uh, new product video coming out for 2018. As soon as they get their stuff rigged up, we're gonna do up a video for them. Uh, and we got the big giveaway. Five giveaways, one in May, one in June, July, August, and one in September. And each giveaway, we're gonna be giving away Costa gear, Dreamweaver gear, Purple Taco gear, all to a different person every month. So, hey, we're really excited about that. Hope you are too. Subscribe to the channel for only the re or for the reason not alone that you don't want to miss out on that. It's going to be super easy to enter. We'll, we'll get into more on that later. We're going to put out a video soon on how to enter you know, and what you need to do. It's going to be really easy, though. Really easy. And then we'll do a live drawing every month. Uh, we'll do um, something uh, live every month and uh, give the stuff away. Can't beat it. All right, any questions, always email me, chrystangletackle at gmail.com. All one word, chrystangletackle, excuse me, at gmail.com. Um, I'll answer any questions. Check out purpletacoflysupply.com's website. They got all sorts of great stuff. And we're putting a blog on there, trying to do it once a week with a fishing report also. Uh, right now, I've just got some nice fishing reports on there. But when we get in the summer months, I'm going to try to update that thing once a week for you guys um, to give you a, a good fishing report if you're coming up to Lake Michigan or fishing Lake Michigan. I, I, I might be able to get something for Lake Ontario. I don't know, but it's going to primarily going to be Lake Michigan. You know, that's where I'm at. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Thumbs up if you, if you liked it. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. We appreciate that and we'll talk to you soon.